Is Zakir Nayak slipping away from India's grip again? You remember the radical preacher? He is in the news again. What for? Well, doing what he does best. Inciting religious tension, spewing hate, lying, peddling propaganda. Recently, he was recorded daring India to arrest the country's many godmen. He was recorded on camera publicly converting an Indian Hindu woman, asking her to repeat after him that God is one, that no one other than Allah should be worshipped. He went on to announce that whenever a person converts, the sins are forgiven and it's a fresh start. Nike told this woman that she should convert her friends and family as well. Now, all of this was happening in Oman. And when some of the video clips surfaced on the internet, India's Ministry of External Affairs said that it is talking to the government of Oman to extradite Zakir Nayak so that he could be sent to India to face justice. But now reports say that Zakir Nayak's work in Oman is done and he is returning to Malaysia. In other words, Oman is not extraditing Zakir Nayak. Let me just tell you a little bit about this man. His full name is Zakir Abdul Karim Nayak. He is 57 years old. Nayak was born in Mumbai, India. He went on to found an organization named Islamic Research Foundation. Nayak hit the headlines with his hate speeches. You remember the Dhaka cafe attack? The one that killed 22 people? One of the accused said that he was inspired by Nayak's speeches. Many who were tracking Zayek's activities were not surprised. Here is a man who has time and again been red flagged for instigating Muslim youths. Zakir Nayak's charged speeches are broadcast in a channel called Peace TV. This channel owing to obnoxious content, is banned in a number of countries, including India, Bangladesh, the UK, Canada. And soon after the Dhaka attack, India's counter-terrorism agency had filed a complaint against Zakir Nayak. He was accused of unlawful activities and of stirring religious hate. Today, Zakir Nayak is wanted in India for money laundering, terrorism, inciting religious tensions. Zakir Naik fled India in 2016. He has been living there ever since. In 2017, India revoked Naik's passport. In 2018, India requested Malaysia to extradite Naik. It has been five years. Somewhere in between, Malaysia banned Zakir Naik from delivering public speeches. Why is that? Because he was trying to quote unquote stir up religious feelings. You see, after leaving India, Naik started delivering hate speeches in public in, Mal in Malaysia. He made racial remarks against Malaysia's eth ethnic Hindus, also against the country's Chinese population. In short, this man is a nuisance. He is a threat to any country's religious harmony. Zakir Naik is always just a speech away from inciting communal riots and acts of terror. And yet, he is a celebrity in a certain part of the world, the Gulf. In fact, reports say Zakir Naik was given a state reception in Oman. In fact, he was there on the request of the Omani government. And you should not be surprised, what if I told you, Zakir Naik was invited to deliver religious lectures in Qatar during the FIFA World Cup. And back then as well, India raised an extradition request asking Qatar to send back the fugitive. We know how that went. In 2015, Naik was accorded the King Faisal International Prize by Saudi Arabia. What for, you ask? Quote unquote, for service to Islam. In 2013, Dubai decorated Zakir Naik with the International Holy Quran Award. Islamic Personality of the Year, and as I speak, Naik may be going back to Malaysia, a country where he holds a permanent residency, a country that seems to have promised to protect this absconder.
shield him from justice? The question is why? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.